Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I am back with another Hexagear uh, kit, 124 scale by Koto Bukia. Looks really, really nice, this one. Look at that on the back. And on the side, it looks really good. Looks like a decent articulation. He's got almost like a... I don't know, almost like a SS storm stormtrooper sort of look to him. Uh, very so military soldier-like, looks really cool. Comes with some different head options, it shows. So if you buy three or four of them, you can have three or four different troops or looks. That's so pretty damn cool. I've got the one. It looks like he comes with a big machine gun, a rocket launcher, an RPG, an axe, a spade, a flamethrower, and what other stuff is down there. So without a further ado, I'm going to open this a further ado even I'm gonna open this and build this off camera and I'll come back when he's complete and you guys can see and we'll do a comparison with some other figures so I'll be back in an instant for you and about two TV shows worth of building for me back now and here he is with his flamethrower he is awesome I really like him in fact he is almost a carbon copy of this guy I reviewed the other day and I'll stick him as just the videos uh, same build same parts a lot of same sculpting a few bits different Different weapons. I prefer this guy. I think the color scheme looks better. The weapons look better too. I'll leave them over here for now. Uh, so you also you get this nice gun here, which it looks awesome. You get this uh, multi-barrel rocket launcher, and I'm guessing this is a like a tow or an RPG or something. And you get this shovel and this axe and some binoculars still on the sprue there. Loads of different hand options. He is fantastic. But I think he looks best with the flame for it. He's got great articulation. The only thing I'll say is one or two parts will pop off. His hands will pop off really easily. It's only my real, my only real gripe of Hexagon. The hands just come off really, really easily. Uh, so if I take this out, his hand will come off. Yep, one hand off. Okay, let's take this off his back for now. Let's put this hand back on, have a quick look at his articulation, and look at um, him with some other figures. So he can look left and right, up and down, side to side. His shoulders go so high, it's about flat, just about. Biceps, he gets over 90 on both sides. Wrist is a ball. He has a small trunk. He has waist. Hips go about so far. There we go. Just about full splits. Really, really good. On the forwards, he goes really good. The backwards, he gets really good again. That's fantastic. Almost a full, a full front splits. Um, he has a thigh twist. He has a single kneecap, but it's really tight bend. He has a boot turn. His feet go side to side. And he has an awesome tippy toe. And a very nice dorsal flexation, a very nice tee-hee, Michael Jackson, like this. Very, very cool indeed. He is a fantastic looking figure. And again, the build time on this, it takes me about, let me see. I watch two TV shows of about 45 minutes each, so... About 90 minutes. If I'm not watching a TV show, probably take me about 70, 80 minutes, maybe. Actually, probably a lot less than that, you know. Um, this guy, he's missing one kneecap because I cut off the peg by mistake, so I had to glue it on later. But otherwise, he is complete awesome looking guy. So we've got him and him. Obviously, they're scaled as well because of the same line. Um, let's look at this robot I got from a not Transformers, not Omega Supreme set and he is approaching 124 scale again i'll stick him to the videos because i think he's a great little figure and i bought that set just for this guy to match my 124 scale figures and then i'm going to use some more of my uh creative field puppets other puppets though so my two industrial mechs or industrial puppets this one's got the extendable arms Brrr. 
This one has the extra arms that come out and have, can have attachments on, and they again scale really well. And then the one which I used again the other day is the soldier one, who I think is absolutely fantastic. And again, I'll put a playlist for these guys in suggested videos where you can watch these three reviews and two more. Ryuen is like the Armored Knight and the Oni Flame is like the uh, Ninja. Fantastic set. Highly, highly recommended. I do like these Hexagear stuff. Uh, I wouldn't army build because of the time and I do so many other things already as well. But I will probably pick up a few more bits. And I've still got another three kits to make down here for Hexagear and another two 135 scale metal slug the game little bullet game kits okay this is awesome action toys i am signing out and i am saying to you guys please like share and if you're feeling a general uh, generous enough subscribe and i'll be back to the more awesome action toy videos for you stay happy keep collecting and check out the rest of my contents i've got loads of stuff on the channel bye bye